Oh, well, everybody's heard about the bird. Bird, 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 bird's a winner. Well, the bird, 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 bird is a winner. Well, the bird, don't you know about the bird? Well, everybody knows that the bird is a winner. Well, the bird, bird, the bird's a winner. Well, the bird, 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 we are going to be going up for a fun fly. This is not a comparison video. This is just a little fun fly. We're going to park the Bugs 2 up in the air. And we're going to fly the Bugs 3 around and let the Bugs 2 film the Bugs 3 flying around. I got the timer set for 10 minutes because that battery it uh, in the Bugs 2 is good for up to 15 minutes. And I noticed that I have my timer set for 12 minutes, but the LVC starts kicking in at 11 minutes. So uh, I got the timer set for 10, that way it gives me plenty of time to bring her in and get her down safely. So we're going to put the Bugs 2 up first, park it in the air, then we're going to go up with the Bugs 3, and we're going to film all this stuff. And here we go. We're going to arm the motors on this one. We have 15 satellites. We're going to manually take off, like so. We do have the GPS on. Switch to the right means on. Turn it to the left. Check this out. It's going to drift. Watch this. See the wind taking her away? Cut it back on. And it stops. And the wind's coming from behind me. So, let me get this timer going here. Get this timer going. Ten minutes. Okay. So, we're going to take her up a little bit and park her. Let me get this video going first. I don't want to forget that. One long press of the video button. Two little beeps and you see the video camera LCD lighting up. And that wind's, uh, mess around with her a little bit but uh, that's okay what we'll do put about right here bring her this way a little bit more we don't want to be in direct sunlight Bring it down just a little bit. Just a little more. I guess that's good. We are at uh, 10 meters up. Now we're going to get this one in the air. I guess this one, you have to hit the red button to arm the motors. Beeps one time, then. I already calibrated all everything and this one's totally manual so this one's gonna drift This one will drift on you because it's totally manual. You gotta totally control it yourself. Hopefully, I'm gonna get it filmed. Yeah. And we're flying this bugs around here. Getting to know her a little bit better. We're in low rates. Let me get a little closer to the other one. Hopefully we're going to be in frame pretty soon. Pretty, pretty good. I'm 
I know I'm being a little quiet here. I'm just trying to concentrate on this because I don't want to have a mid-air collision here. And yet I'm still trying to make a good film. I'm gonna kick this up to speed number two. Bring me in this way a little bit more. Go over this way a little more because that sun is back there and I don't want to blind you. Wait a minute. Oh, this thing started at speed number two. It sure did, okay. I forgot about that. There, I got blinded there for a minute there. I quickly see if you're in doubt if you're not sure where your bird is don't be afraid to to gas on it because if you can't see you can gas on it a little bit and she gets up there she's uh, higher from the ground check this out she's higher from the ground and therefore chances of uh, getting her lost or a crash or something like that is very very limited, so to speak. Yeah, I know I need to be looking over to the other one a little bit more. Yeah, that sun's blind to me. I know it is. I was blind to you guys too. Sorry about that. I think I scared that big whatever that thing was. He was like, what in the world is that thing chasing me? He kind of, he kind of, uh, I guess he, he kind of like surprised him or something. You see him kind of uh, have a little jostle there when he was flying. I don't know if that was a hawk or, it was something big, whatever it was. But I guess this bug three just intimidates anything just about, I guess. <laughs> and I know that thing was bigger than the bugs. trying to stay in frame and, and yet not get too close to that bug too because I don't want no mid-air collisions here. Yeah, I know I'm not talking very much. I'm sorry guys. I'm just trying to trying to concentrate on not to have a wreck out here, you know? I think I'm going to land this one. I'm going to try and come in nose in and land. Well, let's land over here. <laughs> then I'm gonna fly that around a little bit till 10 minutes is up, and then we're gonna put this one back up. And to disarm the motors, you just simply press the button for a long time, and it beeps two times. 
But we're just going to set this one up here temporarily. We're going to check the timer. And we're going to resume flying the other one if we have enough time to. We have less than two minutes, so we're just going to kind of... Yeah, that wind's kind of blowing around a little bit. You can tell. We're just going to fly around a little bit. Staying pretty close with this one. keep forgetting this one has a hover hold on it and it doesn't uh, do the wild stuff that the bug three does we get turned around here we let go of everything for a sec all right here we go get out of that sun there because it'll it'll blind you Bring it on down a little more because that timer's going to be going off any second now. Need to be pretty close to landing when that timer goes off because, uh, like I said, the LVC comes on in 11 minutes. Here I am. You can see the old bird man. down a little bit more that wind's kind of blowing around a little you can see it kind of wobbling around a little we'll put it up here like this there we go here like this like there we go don't want to get too far in your face with this one you know it can get you I'm gonna go over here and do an auto land where the grass isn't tall at all come over here a little bit And that wind's uh, really having this way with her. Let me go a little bit lower. And get over this way a little bit more. And forward a little bit more. And now, the auto land is right here. Now check this out. This button right here. And she comes in by herself. And cuts herself off and everything. Now, Cut the video off, hit that button. Beeps again twice and the uh, LCD video camera icon goes away. We're gonna take her back over here. We're gonna unhook this battery and cut the transmitter off. Then we're gonna put the Bugs 3 back in the air and we'll continue with it. But we need to unhook this battery first though. Cause you're never supposed to leave a battery hooked in a, in a bird ever. This battery's kind of tough to get out. You gotta push the top and the bottom both. And that's what happens when the loose signal of the bird, the transmitter goes crazy. Okay. Put this one over here for now. And now we're gonna resume flying with this one. Now this one's gonna last more than 12 to 15 minutes because there's nothing to it. <laughs> no GPS. No cover hold, nothing to really drain the battery down. So we're just going to continue to fly this one and just have some good old fun. That's pretty wild. That starts off in rate number two, speed number two. Yeah, that sun will blind you bad. I'm telling them, I'm going to stay over this way a little bit. They won't get blinded. I'm gonna do a nice uh, low speed path or, or something like that. There we go. So I lost her just for a second there because that sun was blinding me. You fly one and the other, it's going to be different. It's going to be a different feeling. Because you're, uh, if you fly this one, then fly the other one, you're going to be wanting to do that, uh, 
Want to do the um, dive bomb. Now, the other one can't dive bomb like this one can. I'm gonna get up a little higher so you can I can show you this. And check this out. Drop the throttle. Uh oh. There we go. Yeah, I got up pretty high there and uh the sun was blinding me directly. I know it directly blinded you too, but um I just gave her some throttle and my eyes adjusted from the blindness. And I found her and brought her on back. Here she comes. See, when it's a little breezy, you need to have this one in speed number two, so just in case everything uh, it gets crazy, like the wind blows her around a little bit and stuff. Going back over this way now. So some pitch and some throttle. back his way. <laughs> yeah, like I said, this is not a uh, comparison video at all. It's just a fun fly with both of them in the air at the same time with the Bugs 2 filming the Bugs 3. Hopefully I did a good job on the filming and got this one in frame pretty decently I don't see any blinking lights yet on this one this one's said to fly close to 20 minutes solid lights all the way around on this one I remember we did take a little break because we uh, had to land the other one and we, we didn't cut this one off we just Turn the motors off and just let the let her sit there and, and wait and chill just for a few minutes. Get away from those power poles over there. You can get her to turn really, really nice. You can just um, turn the yaw and then turn your pitch roll stick. You get that sharp turn like this. I wanted to turn pretty quickly because if I didn't, I'd be blinding myself with the sun and that's not good. Especially when you're flying a totally manual bird with no GPS, no nothing. Let me bring her in a little bit closer. A reverse gun off or or punch out there you go that's pretty cool that's what you call in your face in your face shot and reverse punch away that's pretty neat still no blinking lights yet I don't think nope no blinking lights now Banggood or Gearbest or someone I forget who but 
I saw some 2300 milliamp battery packs for the Bugs 3, which they can also be used in the Bugs 2. You just got a Velcro strap your battery in. And they are like 20 bucks each or something. That sure beats an 1800. The 1800s in this bird here and an 1800 is also in the Bugs 2. Now the Bugs 2, being that it has GPS, hover hole, and all that stuff uh, draining on that battery all the time, it needs a little more milliamps so it can stay in the air just a little bit longer so you can have a, a little more video time, a little more fun. Now 2300 on this thing here would give you, oh wow, that stupid ant was biting my hand. I thought I felt something nibbling on me. I thought I tasted horrible. I guess he's gonna find out he's gonna get sick. <laughs> Still no blinking lights. Wow. That's pretty wild. Let me bring it a little closer. I know you guys can't see around that far. Reverse punch out. Oh, blinking lights, here we go, blinking lights. All right, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go over here to where it's kind of uh, low grass, because you don't wanna land in high grass and get one of these motors hung up, you can severely tear up something. So what we're gonna do, ease over here, and lander. It's probably always best to, uh, well, that's a little bit, and one long press. turns the motors off, it's still going to be beeping because low battery warning is on even though it's, even when your battery is still plugged in it's still going to do that. So we're going to step over here and unhook all this stuff. Okay, now check this out. When I unplug this battery here, watch this. That's the alarm saying, hey, Where's the bird? I lost the bird. Oh no. No signal. No signal. But the battery's unplugged and the bird's safe right here. So everything's all good. This has been another Birdman 316 fun fly. Not a comparison, just a fun fly between two really, really awesome birds here. I hope you guys like that flight. And I'll be putting the footage of the video up after I get this one up. This is Birdman 316. Sayonara.